Hey guys, we're back with part 3 of my Fallout New Vegas Let's Play. Um, since I last died in part 2, all I did was respawn and then walk back to Chance's grave to reclaim my knife. So I'm back here, and it's attacking enemies, I'm just going to teleport out of here to Good Springs. So here we go. So far, we've done the quest, um, let me look at your quest at, data, get yeah, data, okay, um, we did back in the saddle, and ain't that a kick in the head, so, we're gonna do, buy a campfire on the travel, we're gonna do that real quick, finish this up, Hello. Cheyenne still hurt where I attacked her, <laughs> by accident. Mr. Gray model of robot was compromised by the U.S. Army just before the war of 2077. Alright, talk to her about Prem. Short on cap, she gave me a, a lock pith, locksmith reader to go look at the, um, the schoolhouse. Bobby pins to open the save. Someone. We'll do that in just a moment. done talking to her now the reason I click on all the uh, done yellow nice. options is because well, sometimes you can, you can get stir. optional missions I finally got to meet you. sometimes you won't see those if you don't read everything okay. so real quick before we do anything I'm just gonna sell some stuff really fast this is gecko stuff So we have about $150 we can get from her left. Pleasure doing business with you. Alright, here we go. I heard you argument. Where's Ringo now? Why not just kill Joe Cobb and get it over with? What are you gonna do? Powder gangers, blah blah blah. Alright. Don't know why you want to do a thing like that. Yep, yep. you get on their good side. We're going to fix our broken radio for it. It's really easy to do after we talk to Joe Cobb. Just getting all these out of the way. Might get an extra mission for talking to her about all that. So uh, here we go. What the hell is what, what do you want? I'm not gonna help him take over the town. Um, it is, it is now. now. Me and the rest. Let me, let me get out of town before we talk. No. Alright, so we're done talking to him. Now we're just gonna fix her radio real quick. Really easy to do. Easy, 50 caps. 40, I can't remember. You feeling thirsty? 50. Yeah, yeah 50. I heard it. Not at all. Got no. 75 for that. That's real easy money. Alright, so now we need to go talk to Sun Smiles again. Oh, level up. Alright. So that's the reason we upgraded our intelligence to 10, is just so we can get all the skill points possible, basically. So, uh, what we're gonna do first off is 
Uh, we want our explosives at 20. Well, put it at 15, that way I can read a magazine. Put our locksmith up to 25. What did it to? No, because that busted by 10, that's only 38. It does increments of 25, so that wouldn't help me at all. And then we got uh, three points, which I'm just probably going to throw into um, probably repair. No, I don't want intense training. Black Widow and the Cherez La Femme is real good to get. In combat, you do 10% damage against male opponents. Outside of combat, you sometimes have access to unique dialogue options when dealing with the opposite sex. It's the same thing, just uh, with with same sex. So, I'm a woman, so that's women and that's men. I'm going to go ahead and pick this perk up real quick. That's, that's real good perks to have right there, because, uh, basically boost your damage by 10% for all enemies if you have both of those. Of course, people, that is. So now we need to go talk to, um, the other guy, I forget his name. Where's the door at? Switch my melee weapon real quick. I don't want to keep this machete on me. I'm going to switch it to the, uh, Chance is nice. Forget what you repair this with. I think it's combat knife. These are both good weapons. I'm going to keep both of these just for now in case one breaks. there so uh let's see that's close enough i'm not an enemy if that's what you're asking you know there's a man named Bill Cobb looking for you. Yeah. He doesn't look very tough, though. I hear he's afraid I'll shoot him down from one of the windows when I see him. I'll have a much bigger problem once his friends show up. There's no way I can handle it. What are you going to do about the powder king? I'm going to lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. I've got no chance. Sitting in the shack in a town that has, like, ten buildings probably isn't laying low. Maybe I can help. I'll ask around and see who I can get. Okay. Now I'm going to steal some of your stuff. Take some whiskey. I think there's some regular whiskey in here. Yep. Sell that. It's easy money. Empty bottles. Whatever, dude. Oh, there's also a Sunset, sunset Star Sarsaparilla cap in here. Get where it's at, get where it's at, but I'll find it. Safe. Go. Careful because some of that stuff's his and he gets mad if we take it. Look at those. Got some corn, maize. maize. Maybe there's not a cap in here. I thought there was. Alright, well, anyways. We'll go hunt for those later on so that don't matter, anyways. Now we need to 
see. Sunny smiles about fighting. Fuck her. There's a lot of walking in this game. I think it would be real neat if uh, Fallout 4 has some type of vehicle. I know I was talking about the Vertibird earlier, but um, I don't know. I've been playing Elder Scrolls Online, and I think the horse concept is really cool. On top of the fast travel, I know they're not, well, they might, but I doubt they'll let you just fly the Vertibird wherever and just like click a button in your inventory and it just pops up. I think it's going to make it to where you have to like actually call it in to use it. Hi there. Sticking or around do the quest line to unlock it, and then you can only use it a certain amount of times a day, or, um, I don't know how it's going to work. Sick. You might have to pay for it. I have no idea. You might only get to use it once. Who knows? But I just think it'd be cool if they had some sort of traveling mechanisms besides fast travel that would make it better for walking, like a skill where you could walk faster, or some type of vehicle, like a motorcycle, or a dirt bike, or a bicycle, or... I don't know. It'd just be cool. It'd be a good concept. It'd mainly just be good if they just upgraded the walking speed or made you to where there was a perk or maybe agility worked for the walking speed to make you walk faster. There's just so much stuff in this game where you just gotta walk around endlessly place to place and I mean, it's alright, you know, because you only have to do it a little bit until you unlock fast travel locations. But it hey, just gets kind of boring. So you're planning on take. So I need to uh, do a speech magazine. See if I can buy one from her. Actually, got a special speech or sneak. See if I have one. Um, be under aid. Lockpick. Medicine. No, okay, uh... Meeting people, there we go. Bought both of those. Pleasure doing Pleasure business with you. I'm gonna read that real quick and make sure my specials are good. Just looking to see if, uh, had any poison on me or anything. Feeling Sometimes thirsty? it'll make it to where that won't work as good. Alright. Gonna bust out some Mentats. I've got any, don't got any. Let's see. Anything for intelligence. Whiskey might work. No. Yeah, your charisma. Feeling thirsty? Feeling thirsty? Dang. Okay. Boom. Feeling thirsty? There we go. I was. There we go. But now my stats are penalized because I drank whiskey and that's my intelligence is messed up. Hopefully I'll, uh, not level up till then because if i level up i'll lose a skill point or have a skill point i should say that'll penalize me in the long run Howdy. so we should be good not just gonna wait a little bit just to make sure i know i had 200 experience to go but talking to these people i could get that real fast i gotta go talk to the towns people i gotta talk to um the doctor to get medical supplies, her to get backup, Chet to get armor and weapons and stuff, and Easy Pete to get dynamite, because the town's about to fight, about to fight the powder gangers. So, um, they want me to get supplies for them, basically. So, uh, let's see if that went away. Good perception or endurance is getting penalized a little bit, but fix that right up. Right there, we go. Hey. 
Howdy. Howdy. See if I can get an explosive magazine to get that really fast. Hello. Feeling thirsty? Let's see what you got for sale. Uh, here. Moonshine might work. Buy one of those, see if that works. Thanks. Thanks. See, I forget some of the things with the uh, buffs them up. Usually it's intelligence, but uh, might be charisma. And the alcohol in the game, when you drink it, it uh, it boosts your charisma basically. So just to make sure. Well, I just saved anyways. If I can just load the auto save. Um, go talk to Easy Pete real quick. You'll see me doing a lot of quick saves. Test certain things. Explosives got bugged, but not barely at all. Okay, so. See if I got anything on me. Order. Medicine. Water might help. Speech might help. Let's see if this does it. Out it. Auto load that real quick. We'll just uh, worry about that later. Maybe in the meantime, I'll level up. And see, what I did that for is because if I drank that moonshine, my stats were penalized. So my intelligence dropped down to 8, my charisma went up to 6. But uh, we want my intelligence for those extra skill points. The more intelligence you have, the more points you get when you level up. And that's pretty much the most important thing in the game as far as trying to have a strong character at end game. So, uh, you know, I was just trying to get that really fast just to get the extra explosives because that's some easy money, but it don't matter. Gonna go in here, talk to Doc Mitchell. Where was he at? Where you at? There you are. Get over here. Welcome back. So check this out. I'm gonna loot his house. Right now. Just steal everything. Not stealing, but just taking it. Because if it's steal, it would say red. So, I can take it. And then I'm gonna sell it right back to him. I'm gonna sell him his own stuff. So all these sell for one. Well, actually, they sell for 0.6. Because my barter ain't very high. That's why I bought that barter magazine, though. Because this is going to make me some extra money right here. It only costs $20 or whatever, 20 caps. But in the long run, it might make me 40, 50 extra. Probably more than that. So I got all that. I'm going to go in here. Basically, I'm just taking all these books. Fallout 3, you could take these books to the uh, Arlington Library and trade them in, and they would give you uh, caps for them. So that was pretty cool. I like the little things you can do like that. Like uh, in Old World Blues and this, you can bring coffee cups to one of the robots. I forget what he does with them. I think he makes you weapons or something or gives you caps. I forget. Yeah, he was like a, a coffee robot or something. He's called Mug. 
he's a little robot he's pretty cool we'll see him later on in the let's play I gotta find Doc Mitchell again he's probably back here right where's he at where are you at Doc Mitchell not in your room not in your kitchen there you are so here we go I'm gonna show you this real quick so I got I have well not got um, I have 972 caps now I'm gonna show you what happens before and after you use that barter magazine Nine hundred and seventy-two oh, caps. Nine hundred seventy-two. So this is without. So I'm gonna sell them all the junk. I'm gonna sell them the same exact stuff. Just selling them all the books, everything in my inventory, except my casings and uh. my casings and my um, canteen well so there I bought one stem pack and I had to pay 72 I'm just showing you because he was he owed me more money than he had so super stem pack $72 he owes me so he's giving me or I owe him I, I mean so now I'm gonna show you with the barter magazine Okay, water magazine, salesman. How are you holding up? See, uh, I saved um, eleven dollars. Actually, it wasn't that much because it was just that small stuff. It was only a dollar, so actually, it wasn't worth doing that. But yeah, later on, it is when you're buying stuff that costs a lot more. So, you know, I lost nine dollars, but it's okay. I was just showing you, for example. Alright, well, I'm going to end the Let's Play here. Thanks for watching Part 3 of Fallout New Vegas Let's Play. Stay tuned for Part 4. I'm going to put Part 4 in the description of Part 3 once I release it. So, go in the description and watch Part 4. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Yeah, thanks for watching.